from the hollers and hills of West Virginia, it's Heavenly Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay, yeah. stay tuned. That's right. Boo. Pumpkin's looking pretty good. She's solid. She's sapping again. Started sapping again yesterday. Nothing we can do about it. Just do what it's gonna do. This in here is a big old gal. Yep. We should measure. Almost right. touching the ground now. I'm coming there. I'm coming behind you, Daddy. This one over here is doing well. Actually, both of them's looking fairly well actually. I uh, like both of them. No, uh, 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 you stay right there. This one here. Looks good. It's growing good. This one here. I hate that tip, but as long as the sun can stay on it, we might be alright. I'll try to position it there a little bit. Yeah, no, it ain't gonna stay there, is it? Let it grow. Right back, Daddy. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming, coming, coming. So we're on over there and that's yeah. the center. Yeah, I'm going here and check on this one. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. Be careful. Don't want no bees to get you. We, uh, we started covering them up good and heavy. Oh, man, tons of bees in here. What? Hang on, I gotta get the bees out. Get the bees out of here. In a minute. All right, let's see here. Now, I think we got all the bees out, I believe. I don't know why they want to come up in here. And yeah, what's what's the deal with wanting to be in here? I do not know. Let's get that little rascal there. Kill him. Wait a minute here. Hang on and move. Okay. Where'd you come from? thing I looked before I put my hat on, huh? Did you get him? Yep, I got him. Coming. Nope. I don't blame it. Not any more in here? Nope. I don't see none. Anyways, I've been covering them up a little heavier at night. Trying to keep them a little bit warmer. I can't wait to see her. She's pretty big. Woo, the lolly. Look at that. That rotaba orange. Would you look at the rotaba orange? Oh! All right, we'll like get her measured. Up. All right, guys. So we got a we got the 1883 pulled off here. She's beautiful, like always. Just a joy to grow. But got one concern right here. That's a cave. It goes all the way up in there, and I can feel it. And 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 essentially, I guess. The only thing I can think that happened is the nose got so big and stuff you see there that it it 
pushed up. It pushed the the fruit up and then the, took the bottom off, I guess. That's the only thing I can think of. But she's big for sure. Oops. So let's get a weight on okay, her. Okay, guys, got to get weight on her. She's, she's doing really, really good. I mean, yeah. Right now, if, if you was to say, what is the best growing pumpkin you have? I, out of everything, I would have to say this one, the 1883. Taking into consideration all the factors, it has no stump. It has roughly six to eight of those growing on it. You see that pumpkin right there in the back? It's got about six to eight of those growing on it, okay? Um, it's just it's just a beast. Uh, and it's still pushing, you know, the weight that it's doing. And, and had I had known that it was going to grow like it is, I may have done a little bit of things differently last month. All right, I would have probably changed a few things. But I thought we would be lucky to get this pumpkin up to, you know, say 500 pounds. And now it's looking like she'll end up exceeding a thousand. And so, uh, yeah, I just, not, a, not enough can be said about the 1883 Bayou. It's, it's a grower and, and stuff. Uh, I don't like the, the concave underneath it. You can't help the way they decide they're gonna grow. I do like the shape of her up here. She's a really pretty shape, very long, very, very long pumpkin, wide, short, I like her, I like her a lot. It'd be cool to stand her up on end and carve her out or something, right? Uh, but, like I said, she's just, she's just kind of uh, awkward shaped on that back, on that bottom side, and, and uh, that's the only, com you know, it's the only complaints I have on her. Uh, will I grow this one again? Absolutely. Should you grow it? Absolutely, you should grow this thing. Absolutely. It can only further your growing program. You know, it can only further you as a grower. Uh, you should grow it. And you should you should cross that into everything you have. And, and not because of the orange, but because of the plant, the way that the plant performs. You, you want that in your stuff. So get on, get out of here, and get on to the next. Uh, we'll show you some on the way out of the 1347 Rotoball. All right, so guys, this pumpkin here, it's it's solid. It's solid as a rock. It's sapping. You know, you have been through all this. Annie said she thought it was blown, and I went back here to look because I mean, you know, hey, if it's gonna blow, I want it to blow here on this blossom end so I can get some money from Doc. Yeah. But uh, I looked at it. It's not blown. It's not. It's not. It's not nothing wrong with it. I put my hand all the way up underneath there. This is sealing up really good right here. All of this is good, I and mean, there's nothing. She's a sound fruit. She's got a lot of scars. She does sound kind of hollow there, don't she? When you smack her. It sounds like an air bubble, but she don't sound as thick and as hard as she was, but I don't know. I have thought about pulling this out of here, because, I mean, it's not really... I mean, she is sapping, so it means she is growing. Um, but she's not really doing much else. Yeah. Um, back here, I don't know. She's pretty, pretty well healed up. Back here on her shoulders. That stem, though, that stem worries me a little bit. See the stem there? A little worrisome. Plenty of slack. I don't know. Oh, maybe I should pull her off. I want to make sure she's good and healed up, though. Is the problem, and that's what I've been trying to let her stay on for, to make sure all these bad spots are good and healed over, and she won't rot in the yard. Cause I, I do want to, I do want to use her, you know, like just for putting out in the front yard, just just to have. So I don't really know. I'll probably come to a conclusion, uh, you know, decision today and on you know, what to do. I thought about ripping it up and letting the field pumpkin plants grow up into this area right here where this plant is. Cause I mean, she's not gonna be 
she's not going to win anything. The only thing I was growing her for, uh, I did try to grow up for the 150 contest, and then you know things went south on that because I didn't understand it all. Anyways, um, you know after that I thought, well, I'll just grow her for the seeds because she's crossed with a 2195 tile, and that combination should be one heck of a combination. So I don't know, you know, maybe I'll pull her out today. We'll see. Um, if I do. And you might put her in the front yard for a little bit and kind of just you know, let people look at her and, and stuff. But uh, anyhow, let's go measure up some other pumpkins. I've not measured this one. I'm not going to measure it. It's roughly the same size. If you know, and uh, like I said, it's kind of thumping, salt, uh, you know, a little, little hollow sounding. So uh, we'll just leave it alone for now. All right, guys. So I think when I get, I pulled my camera today for the time lapse. I think we're going to put the time-lapse camera on one of these pumpkins here, either the Jaden one or the uh, Malachi one, <clears throat> and let you guys watch those grow because they're growing pretty good. You can see that one there and Malachi. Kira is in the patch against the fence. But you can see that Malachi one's growing pretty quick. It's healed up really good. So anyhow, I uh, might do that. I don't know just yet. Got several tiles growing out here. Uh, most of them will just be decorations or be sold to uh, people who want a decently sized pumpkin in their yard. So again, don't do this if you plan to grow a giant and um, you know take it to a competition. But since these had issues, I let them. I let the few that had issues go on ahead and grow. Uh, some extras just so we can have some extras plus some of them have good cr a different cross in them that i did so we'll have those seeds but anyhow this one here is doing pretty phenomenal i'd say it's over 150 pounds now i would say it's uh she's she's quite large so um and a lot of people say well that's 150 pounds it could have been on that pumpkin well no because for some reason that pumpkin has not changed any, not one bit. That pumpkin has not changed its weight gains. It's steady at uh, at eight to ten a day. The big one right there underneath that peach blanket. So I do need to get in here and 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 sort some things out though. Some of this stuff is, uh, and I need to turn that water on, I guess, again, because it's just, I guess, it wasn't on long enough yesterday. So I'm gonna have to do that, and uh, I see some dry spots over here. So. Let's go in here and check on some stuff. Let's see what we got going on. All this old girl here, she's she's getting solid. I do know that she's starting to really firm up. Yeah, need to cut that off. Don't need that. So let me get her a measurement on her and yeah, see what she weighs. Okay guys, so she is 424.5 pounds. I'll give y'all that one. Um, I do believe that this pumpkin will probably go heavy uh, to chart, um, but she's she's just, again, at the, all those issues you know, at the beginning of the season, it's just really, the beginning of the season is really the, 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 part that makes or breaks your pumpkin season right and so if you can see it throughout my patch the ones that took off and did good and i had no issues with are growing good and consistent the ones that had the issues and stuff with the clonex and everything they're they're just not growing right it has nothing to do with the genetics of the seed it has nothing to do with the pumpkin it's all to do with my error okay um also this one here is grown on a secondary that was turned into a main so again not the big push that you would have from a actual main the actual mains over there you know so uh you know the, all those things into consideration still a decent sized fruit and it, it's beautiful shaped beautiful shaped and nice size the color is just to die for right so um yeah i mean i am pleased with this and what's inside of there Oh yes, it's crossed with something oh so good. So, anyhow, um, if you guys want to guess the estimated 
weight that this pumpkin produces every day. The estimated weight that this pumpkin produces every day. What is its estimated weight gain per day? All right, so if you think it's three pounds, you can say three pounds, whatever. Comment below what it is. The person that is within a half a pound, half a pound, all right, will win free seeds out of this old girl. If there's a tie, we'll find a way to tie break it, all right? But you'll win free seeds out of this old girl. You got to tell me within a half a pound how many pounds a day she is gaining. So get on out of here, get over here to the Kenzie pumpkin. Let's go. To everyone who does not understand the way a pumpkin can grow and handle extreme abuse, but yet somehow be very fragile. Exhibit A right here. That pumpkin broke itself off of the stem or off of the main vine, rather, and is now growing still. So if you think that pumpkins can't handle extreme things, better think again. And this plant, it's not even hooked up to anything. It's, you can see, it just runs right here and it ends. Yeah, it's deadheaded there and it ends down there. But they can handle some pretty crazy things and continue to grow. It's just, look at that. It bent in half and still is growing. How long? I don't know, but it's doing it. All right, let's go down here and take a look at... Dun, 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 dun. She's big, very big. All right, let's get a measure. All right, guys, so, man, look at all these great whites that are done up. Uh, anyhow, um, time to, time to, time to, time to get in here and do some work and start culling some things out. I see them growing everywhere, and uh, we don't need them growing everywhere. We just need a few. They're growing and growing well. And so uh, I'm gonna get in here and do that. Um, do need to get these out and bleach them, take care of them. So yeah, let's just get in here and start working. I'll, sh I'll take you along. We'll show you little things here and there and what we're doing, but mainly looking for coals. You can see there's a coal there and a coal there. I'm really torn on what to do with that plant. I know Annie says it's not growing anymore. So, you know, so, I mean, it's not. It's not producing anything anymore. So, I mean, maybe I should pull it up. I don't. I don't know. I get torn when it comes to that kind of stuff. What to do about things? You know, whether I should pull it or just leave it and let it do its thing. I know it's not a monster. It's not going to win anything. The seeds are surely old enough. So. I don't know, just wanted to make sure it was healed up good enough to put out front. I know it's uglier and I'll get out, but it'd be pretty cool just to set it up front. So, uh, probably make a decision on that while I'm out here doing this. So, we'll see. We shall see. So, everything else is looking pretty good. But, like I say, we're just going to go in here. The coal's there, the coal there. Just going to look at all of them and get them out of there. Okay, so y'all can see a lot of coals up there off these two plants. This one here is one that we're keeping. I've got a nice watermelon hidden here. I'm not gonna tell nobody about it. I got a uh, another one right there. I got a, a, a field pump we got cut off right there. A nice little watermelon outside the fence there that you can see, which I'm sure the deer will end up eating, but nevertheless, it's there. Um, this one right here, big but awkward shaped, very big awkward shaped nice big healthy stem but they sound hollow and I'm not sure if that's what they're supposed to sound like or not I don't know never grown a, a legitimate filled pumpkin okay but it is big it's it's very big and here's there's my hand in comparison to this pumpkin so you can kind of let me zoom out here so you can see yeah look how big that is yeah like look it's a big pumpkin really big ribs up here um hoping it fills out right there i don't know 
I don't know. The blossom end looks good. We're just going to keep it going, see what it does, and uh, and hope that it reaches some sort of a, a good size. Um, carefully stepping out of here, not to hit any watermelon or or pumpkin vines. You can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, so far that I have found on here and I'm sure there are more but moving on <clears throat> I'm going to show you one that I am going to set up here in just a second and try to grow it and hope that it does good because it does look like it's got the best potential of all of them so far right there it is look how straight that stem is very straight stem, very long stem. Let me get in there. Look at that. That stem. That's how long that stem is. Nice, straight. Got a big bottom and a small top. It's kind of what I'm looking for. You know, it would be a longer pumpkin, not the weird one we got there. Here's a couple more that uh, I found. And I thought about keeping these because what's weird is it's two of them in one. And this has got a vine growing off of it. See how it's two of them at that juncture? I don't know that they're gonna do anything. I just wanna see if they grow any at all. And they're not gonna suck too much power. Uh, then we have this one here. Um, and, and it's got a nice shape to it. Nicer shape. Uh, I had to clean up the blossom end. It was a little funky. Got it cleaned up. So, I don't know, it's, but it also sounds very hollow. Again, I don't know if that's how they're supposed to sound when they're young or what. I've never grown a field pumpkin, so. I mean, I've grown jack-o'-lanterns. It's about the closest you can come to a field pumpkin. I've never grown an actual field pumpkin, so I don't know. Um, <clears throat> up here, I mean, as far as, uh, as far as the watermelons go, they're here. They're watermelons, yeah, they're, uh, some of them's growing, some of them aren't. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I mean, they're they're doing all right, I guess. Um, this one is not growing as much as I would have thought. But this one here, it is growing like I thought. And, and it's doing quite well. And so, I uh, don't mind to show you this one. Yeah, it's it's uh, starting to get up there. Yeah, get up there in size and stuff. I'm going to give it some more water today. And, uh, and see if that doesn't increase. I know water is good, but they say don't give watermelons too much water. So I've been watching that. But I, I did increase her, her uptake in fertilizer just a bit. And so we'll see if if that don't, uh, don't help some. Uh, I'm just looking to, you know, I would like to get 100 pounds. If I can get 100 pounds this year, I'll be tickled. Don't necessarily need to break the state record this year. I can go for that next year. Then we got that big gal sitting right there and she is quite big um and so we're, we're pretty pretty happy about that one as well so i don't know we'll, we'll see what we get out of them but uh anyhow we got uh got this and uh and yeah that's that's uh super tall in fact this sunflower here is growing with the uh the ear the stalk so it's just kind of like growing right with it there so that, that's pretty funny they're leaning on one another. They're buddies. <laughs> so uh, everything's looking pretty good though down here. And uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll get. Uh, maybe we end up getting a world record uh, sunflower head weight. That would be pretty cool. I do know that uh, some of these sunflowers had the potential to get 30 plus inches. So that would be really cool. Uh, the, they came off of the brown, uh, and the brown had a 30 some inch head. So those are pretty neat, and they're they're really tall, guys. I don't you know I don't know if you can tell or not, but them them some tall sunflowers. Yeah, no doubt about it. They are tall, so, and they just keep getting taller and taller. So yeah, it's a good thing. So uh, anyhow, I'm going to uh, continue to work up here on this. This year, it's pretty much ended. I deadheaded it last week right there. I didn't want it going any further, and I really need to get over here and bury some of the vines or whatever but 
is what it is. This here is 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 all watermelon, and there's there's a nice one hiding in there. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. I'm not gonna bother it. I'm gonna hope nothing else bothers it, and hope it turns into something pretty. Cool. All right, guys. So uh, wife said, dig the potatoes. Said she's gonna make uh, soup and can some soup tonight and stuff. So uh, I ain't arguing. I'm gonna get over here and dig taters. We're gonna work down here on this end right here right now because it's raining up in there. But uh, try to get some of this stuff just pulled back a little bit. Don't have to necessarily do much. Just kind of pull these larger than life uh, vines out of the way, basically. And we'll be feeding those to the pigs. The pigs like them. Just trying to get them out of the way. So I don't want to get a lot of water on me right now because I'm watering over this way and, and stuff so trying to keep out of the water but uh see there's pretty nice little potatoes in there they're not huge of course these are kennebecs and kennebecs don't get real big but, uh, they're perfect for putting in the soups yeah. perfect for soup and soup tomato or soup potatoes there we go um like, these are all fall the ones that we grew uh, or that my daddy grew last year rather we got them in there in that bin there we got them out here. Just going to try to compare a little bit, you know, and see what they did. Did they grow better in the ground? Did they grow better in the bin, which is a compost bin? What did they do, right? So we're just going to clear all this away. Once I get it all cleared, we'll start digging potatoes. So I'll bring you back. So got that all cleaned up. You can see all of them laying there. Now comes the fun part. You already see there's several nice little taters in there. I can see some more all throughout through here. So we're gonna dig them, get all these out in this area, and then we'll try to undo the cage to where we can, you know, get in there and dig around in that side. So let's do this first part right here, see what we come up with, and then we'll do that part there. Compare the size of the taters and the amount of taters. All right, so let's do it. All right, so you can see here, got some nice little ones down in here. Way down in there, I mean, they were, good ways down on the bottom of that hill there so i'm hoping that that means look there that's a nice size really nice size tater there i'm hoping that will mean that there's you know more you know bigger ones around uh, uh maybe up a little higher so just got to kind of dig around it did get a little hard over here even though i put all that uh all that compost and stuff still got hard over here so that's that's kind of unbelievable really I'm going to set the little potatoes there because these little potatoes will go good in the stew and stuff. And uh, in the soup she's making, this helps her out. She ain't got to she ain't gotta clean as many, right? You ain't got to cut up as many if you got the little ones like that. I mean, they're e edible too, so might as well save them and eat them. Yeah, got some nice ones there, so we'll keep on uncovering here. I'm kind of hoping there might be a really big one in there like there was last year when we dug dads up. It was fun. So, yeah, let me get something, kind of dig this dirt around a little bit and loosen it up some so we can get it, really get in there and, and get something done. So, you can see here, some nice ones here too. So, just kind of grab them up real fast. They don't fall through the hole, they go in the bucket. big they're perfect for little stewed tomatoes that's a nice size little tomato or potato Ooh, this is a nice one first time i've ever actually grown potatoes and been successful at it so i ain't gonna complain any at all i've i generally grow them have tried to grow them in, in uh, tires, you know, and uh, it's never really worked out for me very well growing them in tires, so uh, always kind of flopped on it. So anyhow, let me, there's a nice one. So far, the big, big potatoes are coming from right up here from the chickens here. And you can see uh, they're, they're just more on the, see how many, I mean, they weren't done making, so uh, it's not a bad harvest for 
them not being quite done and being planted late and everything but the bigger potatoes are coming from right up here against the chicken so maybe that has something to do with uh do with it maybe uh maybe if you get better maybe you get better potatoes if you get closer to the chicken manure i don't know mm, it's, uh, it's appearing to be like it they're definitely more plentiful it would seem so I mean, look how much bigger they are up here see a lot bigger up here than they were down in through here so we'll just keep on moving along the line there and seeing if they keep going like that and like i said i've only gotten from down there right to here i've not gotten in the internals yet keep on going biggest one so far just nipped it i hate that there it is pretty decent sized one so hopefully there's some more bigger ones in here let's get to digging all right guys so this all dug up this is what we've gotten from there i would say it should have grown for about another month i mean that you can see they the plants were still pretty much all alive and doing well in fact some of them were blooming still uh so you know it's it, it's really hard to say how much bigger they would have gotten i think the wet had a lot to do with uh i dug a lot that wasn't wasn't even there like i dug just a few potatoes out of the center there wasn't many there at all um i think a combination of way too much water at the beginning that probably led to a bunch of rot and we didn't get those and then um you know uh, i would say after that it was it was the the soil because even though i've put in i think 20 woolboro loads of compost and you can see you know how brown this is um it's still just kind of clayish look like see look here See how that just way too much clay. So probably need to add a, you know, a little bit more compost next year. Probably need to add some leaves this fall and probably need to add uh, some sand as well. Pro I would say probably, you know, 10 wheelbarrow fulls of sand would, would really help this soil out a lot. It would, uh, it would break, break it up a good, a good bit. You know, it's just too, way too much clay. And so uh, you can either do it with, you know, compost or, or, or sand, you know, not a little bit of sand. You don't want no more than what I said. Because if I put in another 10 things of compost in here, I could probably put 10 things of sand in here and it would be all right. But if I wasn't to add anything else but the sand, that would be bad. Um, so, like I say, put in a bunch of leaves over here. We'll compost all this, you know, throughout the, the winter or whatever. Um, probably going to um, plant something over here this fall not sure what but we'll figure something out for it because it is decent enough dirt there is you know, benefits to it it's just i think too, it packs down too quick and turns into you know too much packed soil too fast because even when we, we wasn't walking on any of this and it was like we walked on it like none of us walked on it and it was just like we have been walking on it the whole time so uh i think if we was to just do that uh, i think we'd be all right and uh yeah so now we're getting ready to open this up and look and see what's inside of it I got more hope for this one than it would appear to be. So let's get in there and see if there's any big ones in there. Good. Y'all's already getting a bunch of taters out of there, ain't you? There's a bunch. Look at all of them. Goodness. There's tons of them. I see them. I see them. Yep. I don't know. There's a bunch more in there than there was anywhere else. Look at you. Yep, get it. Get it out of there. Dig it out, Kai. There you go. You got it. Good job. I got it. I helped. Let me see it. Look. Good job. Eater. Good job. All right. Good job. Get them out of there. Now I make mosquitoes and my ants. Here. Let me. Let me. Here. I'll bust it up and get some potatoes. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I don't want you touching the ants because them ants. Will... <laughs> no, they're called pea ants because they bite the pee out of you, not because they pee on you. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think they peed on him. Look here, look here, look here, look here. Carrie, you're missing, you're missing taters. Well, Malachi's on it now. <clears throat> Malachi don't miss not one potato. You, you jump right over them. Your brother don't miss them. <laughs> I'm going to teach him how to shed hunt. Why? 
because he'd be good at it. <laughs> Look at all this turned into dirt now. All of that was 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 not dirt this past year. If y'all remember, it was a a bunch of uh, y'all can see it was grass and hay mix, and then uh, it wasn't hardly any anything really. I put very little dirt in there. Um, the only reason why I did put any dirt in it was just kind of help it out some. All right, let me let me get some more of this moved out of the way and see. If there's more in here, there should be plenty more in there. <laughs> what is it? Uh, what is it? Smells like poop. But it smells like poop. Oh, that's poop. Took it off there. Oh, it smells like poop. Like it's moving poop. though, whatever it is. It's all that grass composting. It's the composting of the grass, that's why. It's stinky. Is it? Yeah, it's stinky. <laughs> you yeah. think it's funny? I can't smell it. You think it's funny? I smell it? It's thinking COVID never, never uh, took my dad blame sniffer away. Now I can't smell half of anything. It's got to be really, really bad or really, really good for me to smell it. All right, guys, so got that cleaned out. And uh, it produced for its size and for how many rows, layers that we put in there, wasn't as good as what I thought. We had, uh, I think, eight layers in there. And out of eight layers, there was maybe two or three layers worth of potatoes. There was nowhere near the amount of potatoes that we put in there sprouted and come out. So, did I do it wrong? Should it have just been grass? Should it have just been straw? Should it, I mean, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It did not work like I thought. Now, it did, however, make some of the prettiest looking soil you've ever seen. Because that all started out with just very, you can see the layers of clay in there. You know, light colored stuff. The rest of it has all been turned into dirt and it's a very, very soft dirt. It does really well. And so, um, that's pretty good. Uh, of course, you know, there was a little bit of dirt here and there put into the centers of it just to give something and, uh, and hold on to nutrients. And it was compost that I put in there out of the, uh, out of the uh, compost pile. And so, I uh, don't plan there. No, 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 no. I think the biggest thing that hurt over here, one, it didn't get as much sun. I think maybe that probably hurt it and why the vines got so long and reached as far as they did. So maybe next year we don't plant over here potatoes. Maybe we plant potatoes somewhere else and give this spot that's a little bit more shaded. It does get very hot over here, especially, you know, in the middle of June through the middle of August. It's very, very, very hot over here, okay? I mean, even to the end of August, it's hot over here. But... You know, it starts switching up there a little bit in about the middle of August and not as much sun comes. So maybe we, you know, plant potatoes somewhere else. That's a possibility. This is a good growing spot. I do know that. It grows well, especially, you know, for everything that is going on. As far as potatoes goes, I don't believe it's a prime potato spot. Maybe this ends up being uh, something else. You know, maybe carrots or something of the like, right? So we'll see. We'll see. But it does do fairly well. Uh, so, you know, and I believe the more we work on this little spot, it's not huge, but the more that we work on this little spot, the better the spot will get. And then that's what we're looking for. So, um, here's all the potatoes that we got. Not a lot for all this size here. I think it's not too much. It's roughly, roughly, I don't know, 10 by 10, 12 by 12, somewhere around in there. Yeah. It's probably about 10 foot by 12 foot, mm -hmm. something like that. So much Maybe 10 by 10. Anyways, it's not a real big spot. But for the amount of potatoes that was planted in it, I think it should have been better. Oh, well. I don't know. I'm not a big potato farmer. I don't have any idea. But we have something now to compare it with next year. And that's what we'll do. So, anyhow, um, we're going to go inside and we are going to... Uh, not right now. 
and we're going to go in and get cleaned up and start canning all evening long because that's what we need to do so um we're going to get okay baby so we're going to get on out of here uh, i did had to cut that morrow off just to give you a heads up i did cut the morrow off um to today it was no good at, but i do have another one up here that's pollinated so we'll see if it takes or not hopefully it will fingers crossed um yeah but everything else is is looking a-okay yeah we gotta go get it we gotta find it so um yeah i mean it is what it is and uh hopefully tomorrow uh we'll be able to do a little bit more uh, i got two vi edit videos to edit now and we're going to edit them try to post them both up tonight and uh and then tomorrow i've got to work on a few other videos so i don't know that i'll be coming on too much unless there's something really exciting uh but nevertheless um we uh we uh got lots to do still and i just cannot believe that corn that corn just keeps growing it's just unless you're here to see it you just wouldn't believe it <laughs> but uh anyhow everything is doing okay for what we've had what kind of a year we've had so i'm not going to complain any at all so guys uh we appreciate you watching and we'll see you tomorrow right here in the hollers and hills of west virginia don't forget to smash that like button that notification bell Good job. Here you go. Thank you. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.